our karma which bring us here together and share everything together so for me it's also privilege to be with you so but what i'm saying here is just only my opinion i'm not sure whether it's correct or not but to be monk actually we follow the same way of buddha so the reason why we renounce or we become monk is actually we renounce everything to the, our ultimate goal is to get a nibbana or to arahant or vihimayana say like a buddhahood so this is our purpose or aim then reason why we choose that purpose reason why we choose that no way is to help other people to benefit more for the sentient being that's our mot with the motivation and also with the purpose so if we become monk we have only one activity or we have only one job or work to do that is to practice and learn buddha dharma so why we learn buddha dharma we learn buddha dharma because we need to know the truth path or also we can say middle way also we can say the ultimate nature to realize that nature and that way then we can gain the our goal and also we can serve the all sentient being through this way and also to become a monk as i told before we have not much work i mean the our main work or job is to study and practice so if we stay in the mundane life or worldly life we can practice we can learn we can practice buddha dharma everything but our activity or our mind more distract on the worldly life because we have to survive here so to monk we avoid all these things the the word renounce means we are not giving up everything but from our mind we renounce all these things our mind focus only on the practice and the learning buddha dharma Yeah, uh, we have so many difficulties. We have to struggle because we are the same human being in this world. We are not become arahant. We are not like a noble being. So we have all this defilement. Changing our robe and uh, keeping precept, it doesn't mean that we are uh, become arahant or we are already enlightened ones. So still, we have all this defilement and all the distraction and everything in our mind. So. So we have so many difficulties to struggle. So Yeah. In daily life, yeah. Actually according to the Buddha Dharma or the according to our also Buddhist rule, we have to avoid so many things, but when we face all these things like a uh, good things we attack attach our mind or we can say beautiful things we can also attach our mind so all these are difficult things but the good thing is when you face the difficult things we can practice also in our tibetan there is one saying or oh, i think it's same like in Bud buddhist because there's because there's a suffering there's a nibbana so if you face a suffering or difficulties all these things then the our man thing is we have to tackle with it through the practice way through practical way then this is our also one practice one thing we need to face all this thing anyway we can't run away all this thing we need to face whatever we face difficulties the best way so best way means actually so we can face so many difficulty things for every difficulty so every situation the another the way to tackle so for one the i but i can't say there's only one way to tackle with all this thing but whatever you face difficulty it's let's say if, when we're angry we have to practice passion 
like if I keep this all these things so for different situation we have a different practice or different way to tackle with it same like uh, when we face difficult uh, when we are suffering different diseases for different diseases we have to take a different medicine so there's a no one medicine which can cure all same like here we will face so many different kind of uh, difficulties all we can say this is suffering in this way we say suffering all these difficulties we say suffering all these are suffering so for the different suffering we have a different medicine Buddha already prescribed or Buddha gave us 84,000 so that means in this world they have a different kind of you know 84,000 diseases is there so for all these 84 diseases Buddha already prescribed or gave us medicine like 84,000 Buddha Dhamma so we can use all these things to tackle or face with all these challenges Yeah, according to me, the good thing is it's very difficult to practice. You know, we can practice few days. We can practice whatever we are focusing. We can practice few days. In the beginning, we have a very strong motivation. We can practice few days with you know very hard way. We can practice this very good in the few days, in the beginning. But for us, for not us, for me, most difficult thing is to take long enough. So this is most difficult for thing for me to you know keeping up to reach our goal. We have many difficult things. I think this is the most difficult thing. Whatever you do at the beginning, you have good motivation. You want to do it. You know the meaning. You know the aim. Also, you know its purpose. But at the beginning, good motivation. But to reach the end, to reach the, your goal, we have to struggle. You have to face every situation. Tackle. So this is for me most difficult thing. In also our um, life, in same in our daily life, whatever you we do, in the beginning we have a good motivation to do it and all, everything there. But we started it. In our Tibetan, it's, we have one saying: easy to start, but difficult to end it, finish it. So this thing same to me. In our daily life, we're facing doing so many good things at the beginning, but we can't make it end, make it finish. This is for me the most difficult thing. Okay, sure. Actually, I have to chant at the beginning, but in Tibetan, for me, this is the first time. So, we have been chanting at the beginning. Sangye Chodan, Sogye Chonam, La Chanju Badu Dana, Gyas Chidaga Jin, Sogye Vesonam, Yi Dola Penjin, Sangye Dru Bari Shos. Actually, I chant one stanza. There's a four word. Uh, first, to Sangye Chutan Swagi Chunam La Chanjo Bodh Dhani Kyapsuche which shows the uh, taking refuge to table jumps and second to such Sansa Chanjo Bodh Dhani Kyapsuche Dhaka Jin Swagi Bhe Tsonam Ji Dola Penjo Sangye Dhru Boshi these two shows the we have to cultivate the Bodhicitta Bodhicitta means like altruistic mind mind of other centered mind so at the beginning table, uh, take, taking refuge to table jump then we have to cultivate the Buddhichitta. If you cultivate Buddhichitta, whatever we do, we do it for the whole sentient being, not only for self. So whole sentient being means whole living being, not only human being. So this at the beginning we chant. Now it, in, the fin, in the end we say, <clears throat> so we have to dedicate all our, what we did, uh, not this time, whatever we did in the past life, we have to dedicate not only for the oneself get enlightened, but for the all sentient being to get enlightened, like a Buddhahood. So, why we dedicate? The dedicating means if we take a modern life example, we are saving money in the bank account. Same like we save bank money in the bank account, then we can use our interest. So, there's another example. If you put a drop of water in the ocean, your drop of water mixed with whole water, so you can't, you know, the differentiate which one is your drop of water. So that means that drop of water separate all over the world so that means whole ocean have that drop of water element there so you can use whole water till into feet so that means you know the our the merit or kusala will become very big or you know it's limitless or it's endless <coughs>